I'm back. Rodrance for the Matrix and Road Show. And oh my goodness, we got some more virtue signaling from Disney and Marvel and the MCU. Now, Disney is something we've covered a lot over on Black and White Network because they have jumped, I mean, headfirst right over directly into politics by trying to go after uh, Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis and, of course, the parental rights in education law. And one of the things that has emerged uh, out of Disney in the last couple of months has been, of course, some leaked video where they're talking about the fact that they're making it a priority to push LGBTQ plus characters into their products. They're going to really try to make it more diverse. And we, of course, have seen some of that in our products already. Lucasfilm. Some in the MCU, of course, Captain Marvel. And, of course, we saw it in Loki. Now, for full disclosure, I started Loki. When it first came out, first three episodes, and I said, you know what? This is a good show. This is a really good show. I like Tom Hiddleston. I do. I liked him as Loki in in that really great ten years we had of, of films from the MCU. Well, the MCU has turned into a dumpster fire. And, of course, then we found out that Loki was going to be bisexual. And now, the star of that show, Tom Hiddleston, is saying they've got a lot wa- a lot further they got to go. they got a lot further they got to go to take these characters and turn them political and to make social statements and tr- try to subject your children to things that you wouldn't expect your children to be subjected to if you set them down, set them down in front of Disney Plus and allowed them to watch a show, some things that you would not expect them to be able to hear and or see from a show. And, um, well, you just can't do that anymore. You cannot do that anymore. Uh, I mean, if you're a, a Christian family, Things like that. Now you've got to be concerned what is in the content that your kids are going to be consuming. Actor Tom Hendelson says that the character coming out as bisexual in the Disney series Loki was a, quote, small step forward. He said it's still, quote, further to go in terms of sexual representation. Why are we talking about this in in a child's product? That's what I want to know. That's some of the things a lot of people want to understand about what's going on with Walt Disney now. It's clear the traditional family unit and value over there, it is over. It's over. They no longer align with that. Um, Their products are no longer safe um, for your children to just sit down and consume. In the third episode of the series, Loki hinted at a bisexuality when he told Lady Loki that he had enjoyed romantic relationships with both princesses and prince, princes in the past. The admission came after a quirky 18-second ad for the show featured a folder and dossier in which Loki's sex was classified as, quote, fluid. Okay. And uh, I don't know. This is from... This is that ad that they are referring to right here. Let's just see it. Yep. It's a really good actor, by the way. Yeah. So, uh, there we have that, and there you can see the uh, fluid right there. Speaking with The Guardian, Hiddleston said that Loki's bisexuality was meaningful to maintaining the character's integrity. I don't know how that is, but okay, I guess we're going to try to find out. Quote, I was really, really honored to be asked. We all wanted to retain integrity of the character, and I wanted to make sure we didn't lose the bits that people loved while doing something new. Here we go. I also hope Loki coming out as bisexual was meaningful to the people that spotted it. It was a small step, and there's further to go, but it definitely was important to all of us. Speaking with Variety, actress Sophia De Martino, who played Lady Loki, said that the series director Kate Heron wanted the character's bisexuality to, quote, be represented in the show. 
I think people have been long, have been waiting a long time for it. The comic books allude to it. And even the Norse myth, the mythology, I think, said D. Martino, it's been around for so long, and it was really important to have have to her to have that in the show. And I've got to say how happy it makes me that people are happy to see it. Which people? Likewise, Kate Heron said on Twitter at the time that the character's bisexuality was always a matter of importance to her. So in a kid's show, it was important for that to be added? That's so strange to me. From the moment I joined Loki, it was very important to me and my goal to acknowledge Loki was bisexual. It was part of who he is and who I am too. I know this is a small step, but I'm happy and heart is so full to say that it is now canon. Wow. Okay. Heron hoped that future installments of the character will better explore that aspect of his personality. I hope not. Again, it, you should be able to put your kids in front of things on Disney Plus and then be able to consume it. And let uh, keep sexualities out of these shows. Um, it probably doesn't matter now. Many of you are not going to watch this show anymore, and I don't blame you. I'm not either. I don't know plans for the future with Loki. I'm so focused on this story, Heron said. But I would say that part of my thinking was, well, if it's canon and it's acknowledged, then yeah, I hope there's obviously more road to travel with the aspect of his personality, and I hope it is. Wow. Wow. It was criticized by Russell T. Davies, creator of Showtime series Queer as Folk, criticized the moment as, quote, a feeble gesture by Disney. Wow. Okay. Loki makes one reference to bisexual once, and everybody's like, oh my God, it's a like pansexual show now. It's one word. He said the word prince, and we're meant to go, thank you, Disney. Aren't you marvelous? It's pathetic. It's ridiculous, craven, feeble gesture towards the vital politics. What's vital about it? I don't know. And the stories that should be told. LGBTQ representation in children's shows has been on the uptick in recent years, beginning in 2014 with the Disney show Good Luck Charlie, which featured a lesbian mom couple. Wow. That later was followed by the Disney show Andy Mack featuring the first teenage gay couple on the network. Jesus Christ. Disney later made headlines with the release of Onward, the studio's first animated movie to feature an openly LGBTQ character. Yeah, uh, I did a video on over on what used to be the Road Ranch channel on that. And um, here we go. This is exactly what we're talking about. Ted Cruz has come out. He's been critical of this. But the virtue signaling is not going to stop from Disney. It's going to continue to integrate itself, put its tentacles into your products, and your kids, it will not be safe. If you've got a traditional value set, and your family is, is of a traditional value set, and these things are important, and you don't want your kids subjected to it, uh, Marvel, MCU, it's not safe for your children anymore to consume. It's sad. I grew up with these characters. I was a big comic book fan. And uh, now, eight-year-old son, he's not allowed to see this these, these shows. He asked me, Dad, what happens after Endgame? What, hap what happened after Spider-Man No Way Home? Son, it's basically over. Okay, nothing happened afterwards. The shows that they're putting out now are not safe for you to consume at your age, and um, we're just not going to do it. And, and and we don't want to continue to give Disney our money, right? I mean, they've made it clear where their priorities lie, and look, traditional family value sets is what this whole company was built on. We, Like I've said with Star Wars, we funded this shit show, and this is what you want to do with it. Okay. Peace. I'm out. Till next